Well, I think one of the big surprises is uh, freshman quarterback Andrew Cota. Uh, we'll still start Eric Kaiser, uh, but Andrew Cota has actually played as well as any freshman I've ever recruited and really learning this system and being able to execute. He's done a phenomenal job, so he's going to get playing time this week, you know, even as a quarterback. I think the other thing is is that we've had some running backs really step up. Uh, obviously, losing Jake Cimolino, uh with some injury situations is kind of a hurt, but uh, uh, Ricky Trinidad, who played for us last year before he hurt his knee, has played tremendously well. DJ Hubbard moving back in the backfield. He's even much more natural in the backfield, and so he'll play both in the backfield, and he'll be versatile in the slot. And then, of course, Jaron Dennis has played exceptionally well. So we've got more depth in the backfield and that than we've had before, and so I'm excited about that. Hopefully we keep guys healthy. The other thing is we've had a couple guys really step up defensively. Uh, we had a transfer move in last year or at semester, uh, Carlos Aviles from uh, Indiana State. He graduated from Valor uh, Christian High School out in Denver, and Carlos is playing phenomenally well, so we're excited for that. And I think there's going to be some very good surprises as the season goes on. We'll have some changes in the kicking game. Obviously, losing, uh, first of all, losing Jake Edmiston is a long snapper. Uh, I can honestly say in the last two years that I've been here, uh, never worried about a long snap. It just became automatic habit, and obviously that's why Jake's going to continue to get a chance in the NFL uh, if he gets healthy and stuff. And so uh, we'll, we'll have right now, tentatively, David Tan will be our long snapper. Uh, David is a transfer young man from the University of Iowa. Uh, he'll also play some safety. He'll play some linebacker for us. So he's, again, he's another one of the nice surprises in the fall camp, but he'll be the one that will handle the majority of the long snapping duties. Uh, Taylor Schultz will still be there as a backup force. And then in the kicking game, we've got new kickers. Uh, Mike Brady was an outstanding punter for us the last couple years. And so the combination of, of Jake and Mike was phenomenal for us. Uh, now, right now, he'll actually be handled by a freshman. Austin Pitchford uh, will be our, our uh, first-team punter going into Saturday night. Uh, he's a freshman out of Douglas County High School, uh, and he's done a very nice job for us. And, and so it, it changes a little bit of the overall kicking game perspective. The place kicking will be handled right now, and possibly by two guys yet. We're still having them battle it out a little bit. And, uh, Eli Williams, who did some of the kicking last year, uh, you know, came into fall camp and was kicking phenomenal. Tweaked his uh, hams or his leg a little bit, and uh, actually had to sit out for about two weeks almost. Since he's come back, he has been kicking exceptionally well again. And then we have a, a true freshman, Ryan Sheehan, uh, out of out of the Phoenix area, that's kicking tremendously well. And so those two guys will kind of battle out yeah, a little bit this week. And so there's a chance we may have both those guys doing some phase of the of the place kicking. Be a very good football team. Uh, they have really done a good job of building their program. And uh, Coach Brumfield kind of has that program going in the right direction. Uh, Initially, when Dixie cha made the transition from, uh, you know, the junior college ranks to the Division II, uh, it was tough because they didn't have any seniors. The first few years, they had a lot of transfers, and they weren't really guys that were necessarily committed to the programs. So they really struggled with continuity. Since that time, they've really built the program where they've got guys who've been in the program now for four and five years. Uh, they have more seniors now than what they've ever had. They will have a very experienced football team. Defensively, they will be very solid. They'll be a big physical team. Uh, they're very sound in the things that they do. And then offensively, I mean, they've got some very good talent. Now, they lost their quarterback from a year ago, uh, so that's a little bit of a question mark for us as we prepare for them. But I know that they like to spread it around. They like to throw the football. They'll mix in a lot of the run stuff, similar to we do, kind of run-pass combinations. So uh, I think they will be a, a very good football team. Last year, they, they struggled early, and then they, they ended up 4-7. and seven. So they ended up winning several more of those games down the stretch, and they were a much better football team second half season than they were at the start of the year. And I think that's what they're trying to build on for this year.